Hi, Mark Palmquist here. Um, I did a test before that uh, I wanted to clarify. Um, so in a previous test, I tested um, a joint wrapped in paper and a joint wrapped in this FIBA tape. This is a fiberglass tape that's used in sheetrock joints. And the paper beat this. But what people use on a boat is fiberglass tape, which is more, it's actually fiberglass cloth that they call tape because it comes in a roll. So I'm gonna test the paper with this, but I also wanna uh, check the density of all three of these and compare them. So I have a scale, I put a wooden block on it. So now it's zeroed out. Um, I'm just gonna roll this up, weigh it. Let's see how the three compare weight-wise. All right, so that's uh, 11 grams. Now the uh, FIBA tape. This is the one that the paper beat. Okay, so that's only three grams. Wait a minute, let me uh, make sure this is zero. Yep. It's actually, yeah, four, four grams. FIBA is four grams. So the paper is triple the weight of the FIBA tape. Um, now I'm gonna weigh this uh, fiberglass tape here. All right, so that's 14 grams. So maybe that's why everybody was shocked at the results. Um, so this tape is heavier than the paper. Um, all right, so I have these panels. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna glue uh, a piece of tape across this joint with uh, the paper is gonna be held with tight bond three and the fiberglass is gonna be held with epoxy. And then I'm gonna do a strength test. I'm gonna cantilever this off my workbench and put some weight on it and keep adding weight until this breaks. And um, I think that should be a, a good test. Um, so the other thing to note is the paper being 11 grams and the fiberglass being 14 grams when I the the tight bond three is going to partially evaporate so it's going to end up being lighter uh, when it dries than the epoxy epoxy does not evaporate so um, I have to be very careful not to put too much epoxy otherwise it'll be too heavy and um, the other thing I'll do is I'll I'll actually weigh this and weigh this after they're glued up and compare them and uh, see what they weigh when they're dry. Okay, so one more thing that I'm gonna test is I'm gonna do one butt joint with only tight bond three glue, no tape at all as a baseline. Uh, I wanna see how much adding a layer of paper on the outside intention uh, adds to the strength of the joint. Uh, there are some people that um, don't think it adds much at all. Um, so I'm going to test it and find out how much the paper adds. Okay, here is the um, results of the uh, setup for the parts. Um, this is just, this one right here is just uh, type bond three with a couple turns of um, clamp pressure. This is type bond three and paper. Um, one layer on the top with a couple turns. And this is fiberglass cloth, two inch wide. Uh, all of these are two inches wide. 
um, set in epoxy and I will let these dry for a couple days and then do the test. One thing interesting to note is this roll of paper cost me three dollars and um, this roll of fiberglass cost me 22 plus nine dollars for shipping so this was 33 or so uh, so this was three and this is 33 so people that say oh it's not that expensive well um, paper is a lot less expensive okay here is the uh, test setup um, so the one in the front is uh, just a butt joint with tight bond three only the one in the middle is epoxy and fiberglass uh, two inch wide roll of fiberglass cloth um, the third one is paper and tight bond three and every single one of these is cut to the exact same length and width and i stack them to do the same identical hole patterns uh, so that the distance between these holes is identical on all three um, I did weigh them before and after the gluing, and the one that's the heaviest is the fiberglass and epoxy. It's approximately, so by weight, the uh, the fiberglass and the uh, epoxy is seven grams heavier than the paper. Okay, I'm starting with the, uh, the butt joint only. Um, this should be the weakest joint. Key is that I have to place the weights right at the edge and stack completely vertical. Wow. Uh, I'm gonna have to make more, more blocks. <laughs> All right, so that was um, blocks one through 10. It was just everything except the last block. I'm gonna have to uh, get some heavier weights. Okay, next one I'm gonna do the paper because I think the this on this test, because this is more material, it's heavier. I think this is going to be stronger than the paper. So I'll start with the uh, doing the same thing. It's 11, 12. Well, <laughs> that's not really working. Uh, it was 15, basically. So we'll weigh all these and write it down, record it. And the final test, the uh, fiberglass. 15. And this is where the paper ends up being. Yeah, this is getting very difficult. Um, it would have been better to have a string and put a, a bunch of slotted washers on it uh, and let gravity remain vertical. Um, but uh, I don't have that, so. All right, so far the fiberglass is two blocks more than the paper and it's still holding well that's definitely the strongest Measure all 
plays and see what it comes to. I think uh, I could also get like a, a scale, like a, a, a fish weight scale, and just pull on it. Uh, the problem with that is I have to be really steady and I have to look at the dial and um, so yeah, a fish scale would work. Um, that might actually be e easier. Okay, so here's the result so far. Um, the butt joint with tight bond three um, wood glue and no tape at all was uh, held 2.14 kilograms. Uh, the paper went up to 3.27, so that's an increase of 52%. And the fiberglass was greater than an in, uh, 5.71 kilograms, which is 266% or greater. Um, so this is definitely a lot stronger um, than the paper. Of course, the paper does add strength. Uh, it adds 50%. Um, two layers of paper would probably add even more, um, but I doubt two layers of paper would equal one layer of fiberglass. So, okay. So the uh, the fiberglass is stronger than the plywood, but considering the weight of this compared to the weight of that, it's only seven grams difference. Um, this probably makes more sense. So there's a place for this, there's a place for this, um, on a boat. It's just a matter of, uh, putting this where you don't need a lot of strength, but you, uh, it is good at sealing. Um, I've never had water penetrate through the, through the paper. I've never had wet plywood on any of my boats. I've had three boats and... Uh, I've left them out in the rain for two weeks and uh, no damage. So anyway, uh, this is a lot stronger. Um, and this does add 